one. Yeah. I'm recording again now. See, now you see the ULD, okay, the container. You can see then the, you know, that's this uh, uh, letters AKE82237LH, okay? So what I'm saying, it's not uh, bother you as a customer or your shipper, even the freight forward, but the only airline they're handling this type of the ship. For ocean freights, you know that, you, know, you, must, you must know the container number, okay? But that container number is for the reference only. Like the MSC uses this one or in some other AP, whatever things. Okay, CMA. The content number, you know that it's a reference. But here, that you should know because you know you are writing these numbers and all over, uh, maybe in the BL and all, right? But when you're talking about the the, uh, the air freight container, you don't have to bother about this. This is the airline is handling. And you know, these containers they are not giving to the customer. Ocean freight containers. You know, your freight forwarder, your customer can directly pick up from the port or the storage area, staging area, and you can bring to your area, right, for loading. But airline, they will not give. You have to take your uh, shipment or uh, deliver your shipment to the airport, and from there, they will load into the container. You know, that is one of the most important difference. The airline, I mean, the air freight and the ocean freight, they are not giving normally. Normally means 100%, because, you know, the safety and those issues. You are transporting this carrier uh, through the, um, I mean, the uh, tracking and all. There are so many chances when you handle, so they don't allow. So my point is, you can see different style types of the containers, like uh, ocean freight six, seven types of. You can see just the uh, length and width. Most of the containers the standard one, okay? What the six meter and twelve meter length, forty and twenty. Here it's not like that. Here there are different type of the was sizes and shape after the, the aircraft. They want to maximize, maximum utilize the space and you can see the shape and everything like this. So how it is, how can we understand what type of the ULD they are using? For that, there is a airline code is there, AKE in the beginning, every where you can see some type of the code. So first three letters is very important. The people, they are expert handling and they can understand this. You don't have to understand, but I can tell you, yeah, for what, what type of the, this one, uh, uh, this uh, uh, container you are using, like the certified one or some other options, okay, or you are using the palletized one or something like that. Okay, we are not bothered. If you need, I can share the details later because we are not in under this number. Okay, and the, you know that the K is means what the size. You see the length and width. The normally, you can say that the small one, I think LD, three and all ld4 on all this like you know uh, i think your uh, uh 240 something or 155 something i can share that also the length and width of the specification and when it's come to ld6 again bigger when it is reaching the 300 meter length okay so there are so many uh, uh, that the uld containers are like this and reefers also the same model ld3 ld6 you can see the reefers also because this is just what just, just uh, you know that uh, maybe uh, 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 the material, aluminum or some other material they will use. But for the reefer, there's a special material for this one. Okay, specification I'm saying. So these are the types of the ULD they are using and different sizes are there. This is a very small one. And you know, I think LD7 something is there. It's a big one. Okay. And uh, I show you the another picture, both sides, you know, that the length and the corner, the angle one. Depends, you know, different type of the cargo. And some ULD you can load where in the belly, some ULD you are using for what the upper deck and the lower deck. Depends what type of the cargo you are using. Okay. And uh, another one is the pallet one, different type of the pallet. Pallet, as I said, is a big one. And you know that you have different type, shape of the cargo, more height and all. Then you can put it over in the pallet. And the pallet, how they are, you know, that uh, moving. This pallet, uh, it will move through that in a particular, you see that vehicle and this vehicle have particular, but the lifting, you know, that equipment. So once you reach the, the near the air freight door, it will lift and it can go inside using other, you know, that uh, the program and, you know, the handling things, the ground handling thing. So pallet, as I said, you know, the flat one, you are carrying the ship, uh, the shipment and cargo and you are stepping properly. Okay, which is the rims, not the not the the thread or other things. No, the uh, the, the rim and the, you know the wires 
the special wiring, the remote, other wire, then put and stuff properly because stuffing is very important thing, should not move. And as I said, most of the things not manually, automated one. So it will be perfect. When you are doing the manually only, you don't know how you are going to stuff and strain this one. But even you are using the automated one, it will be secured properly. Everything automated, all these things. So I will I'll close this one, right? This picture. Now, now uh, we understand the Okay, you understand that uh, some uh, idea about what the ULD? Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, so sir. I can share with you specification. As I said, it is not directly effective with your our business. Okay, ULD and all. Mm. So understanding is okay. Now I want to also inform you something about uh, what uh, maybe uh, yeah I want to inform you. Okay, that I will put when I discuss about that because different type of the. You know that the airlines we can identify their names okay in the airway bill well, with uh, the first three numbers that we'll discuss the mba which also i didn't put in the slide okay but just remind me okay i will give that now we are going to yes, yeah discuss about the volume of this is also very important thing this is the important thing because this is directly involved if you are working the flight coding company or if you are working the or any other manufacturing or any other trading company you should know this one okay so what is the volumetric weight? You can easily discuss it because we discussed these things were in the beginning. So volumetric weight is there are two types of the weight. One is the actual weight, like the gross weight, right? The, the yes, actual sir. weight of the packages. For example, you have one machine or whatever things, or you have one carton of the food, whatever things. Then um, uh, the actual weight, the mass, that is the gross weight after the package, right? If you say the net weight and gross weight concept, you already know that net weight the, is the weight of the Product gross weight is after the product packages, the car to yes, sir. whatever thing. Now, uh, here the main thing is the volumetric weight and the chargeable weight. Volumetric is weight what CBM, you know that uh, we are calculating what uh, the space occupied for the uh, shipment and we are converting to the kilogram, right? That is the volumetric weight. So length, width, and height multiply, it will come what? the CBM normally everywhere, even the ocean freight, air freight, land freight, whatever things you are using, how do you calculate the CBM? Multiply length, width and height. As we uh, made the example in the, you know, some examples were in ocean freight, same thing here. But here in the ratio, conversion ratio, you, 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 you remember that uh, the dimensional factor, beam factor, right? Beam factor will be different. For the ocean freight, one into one ratio. That means one one metric ton. That means what? One thousand, right? It is one cbm. One cbm is equal to one thousand kilogram in ocean freight, right? The ratio like that. And uh, for air freight, is one into six. For one metric ton means one into six. So six multiply one sixty seven. That is our dimensional factor. So. For the air freight, you, you what one uh, metric ton means if you calculate 1000, okay, but one CBM, it is what 167 kg only. That means you have one shipment that car, that car tone or the boxes, whatever things, if it is take more than one meter length, one meter width, one meter height, then it will be considered more than one CBM, okay, if it exceeded that. and one cbm is in the air freight equal to 167 kg only in that space you can carry 167 kg right just think about you are in the ocean freight just same space you can carry what 1000 kg right and the ocean freight what it is cheap you know that so that is the reason and it is taking 28 days or 30 times more transit time Three days shipments you reach the air freight and 30 days it will take from China to Kuwait, right? Three days air freight and 30 days ocean freight. So the price will be the different and it's very slow, it's coming. 
right? So the point is the ratio is 1.6. Six times multiply one CVM that 167 equal to 1000. So simply 1.1 mean 1000 kg, right? 1000 that you can hold within the same space. So the heavy items you can keep it there. So no charge, till charge. You remember that weight or measure, right? As per this, which is the highest revenue term. Now here I am saying, here also the same thing. What they will calculate this space for one CBM, but you can carry what this one only what 167. If more than that, it will be considered two CBM. Okay, but it will be more. And uh, what else we have to the airport? Okay, so. Now, uh, the, and, uh, you know that the, the courier, it is what, uh, one uh, CBM is 200 kg, right? So 1.5 ratio. And land freight is 1.3, 333, one CBM. That we are not discussing now, but for the air freight, you understand now. And uh, the other thing is the gross weight, actual weight, volume dimensional weight. I think you already discussed this. What is the gross, gross weight, dimensional weight? Okay, just talk to you now, gross weight, and the X, and now we can take one example for the air freight uh, chargeable weight. Do you have any question for this before going to the example? No, sir. Yeah, okay. Now, but you got the point, right? Yes, sir. What is a chargeable weight? Here means we are using the concept of chargeable weight. Which weight is the more? Do you have any confusion here? The, the actual weight and the volume weight we have, I, I think you don't have because we already calculated for the ocean price. Same concept, only you have to think instead of 1000 kg, you are holding in the same area. I can hold, keep only 167 kg. Right? Yes, sir, right. Okay, it's very simple. Now, you are uh, with an example, you can see. You see, uh, I said ratio one, which means one CBM is uh, 1000 6, 166.6. One kg in volume, okay, you know that. Either in ocean freight, you can divide CBM multiple by 166.6, okay? Or you have the cubic centimeter divided by 6,000. Tell me once again, there are two options to see the volumetric weight, okay? There are, okay. Yeah, like you remember that uh, 1,000 is we are using ocean freight. Here, what we are using. Here, for example, you have the centimeter. I have the example now. I'll give below next one. For example, 100 centimeter uh, length, 150 width, and 90 height. Okay. If it is in the centimeter, you are dividing by 6,000 dimensional factor. Okay. Okay. Or okay. you have the CBM like that, meter wise, one into instead of the one, one, 100 centimeter and 1.25. Okay, instead of 125 centimeter, 1.25 meter, and what is it? 90 what 0.9 meter. If you divide like that, okay, if you get the CBM, then what uh, you have to multiply with uh, 167. Still, you may be confused. I'll tell you. There are two ways. Whenever you are getting down the dimension from your customer or the person to know about the, the chargeable weight in the air freight. If he is giving the centimeter, all the width, like length, and height, you have to multiply every this uh, length, width, height. Then what? Divide by six thousand. You will get the what the chargeable weight. Okay. Now the person is not giving the centimeter. He he said I have one shipment, one meter length, one point two five uh, meter uh, the width, and the point nine meter uh, what height. Then you have to use not the 6000 divided, multiplied by 166.66. Okay, then it will come. I think you are clear now, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, example. Now, you see, we want to send a shipment to spare parts in a carton. For that, we need to find out how much is the chargeable weight. Details of the carton dimension. Okay, as actual weight as follows. Okay. Now length is 120 centimeter, width is 85 centimeter, height of the shipment is 60 centimeter, this carton, spare parts. 
and the gross weight is 550 kg. So how you are going to calculate the air freight? First you are calculating what uh, uh, this one, 120 multiply 85 centimeters multiply 60. So uh, the uh, that's a, a 61. Okay. Yes. If you have centimeter, you can say uh, 600 120, right? If yes, you, sir. You try now. If you want, you can calculate. You can try. Yes, sir. Sorry. Then you are dividing by 6,000 and compare the volume weight. The actual weight of the shipment is 550 or you, you got the 102, right? 550 is the actual weight, the, the real weight, mass of the shipment and the 102 is the volume weight. Mm. So which is the, the chargeable weight now, like the revenue term, 550? Yes, sir, sorry. Whichever is higher. Whichever is the higher will be considered as a gross weight. Uh, I mean, that's the chargeable weight. So chargeable weight, when you're making the calculation for the air freight, first they will ask what the, your, the, the gross weight of the shipment, the actual weight, and what is the space you are required for this shipment. Then you are uh, calculating the, the CBM and here is the dimension factor, 6,000 for the centimeter, cubic centimeter, and then uh, uh, you are getting both value then you are comparing, okay? Actual weight or the, the chargeable. Then it will be charged the, the highest one. You got the point, right? Yes, sir. Okay, you can practice if you want uh, just uh, any, uh, this one, you can practice one question. I will give one, one, one uh, homework for you, you can make it. Yes, sir. Okay, I write it myself. I also write it because maybe I'll forget tomorrow what I write. Okay, let us make it air freight. Okay. Mm -hmm. Air freight, uh, you are in Mumbai. Mumbai to Kuwait International Airport. Okay, sir. I have uh, uh, two packages. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the one package you just write 155 centimeter length 155 centimeter length 90 okay now one five and one five five length one zero two uh centimeter width okay, okay. and one hundred mm -hmm. centimeter height sorry height is 100 one zero zero Okay, okay, sir. So weight is okay. So weight is three hundred kg for this package. Mm, okay, three hundred kgs. Okay, another one. Mm -hmm. Another one. You have a ninety centimeter length. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, one twenty width. One twenty width. Okay, and uh, uh, seventy centimeter height. 70 centimeter height okay okay and, and the cross weight is approximate weight is okay make it the 200 kg 200 kgs okay sir and the question is what is the chargeable weight mm, okay and i want what to is ask the what is the process of chargeable weight. okay sir at least you know that you know what is the process we already discussed something you understand because i want yes sir okay so process means what you have the shipment just think the assignment you have the shipment now okay you have shipment. Mm. how to yes deliver to kuwait okay sir whatever things you know you make it okay yes sir MBL and everything later, but the process went from this place. Hmm. So this okay, is, sir. Yeah, this is the thing about what the chargeable weight. You already know these things. You don't have to go complicated things on that because this is the important thing. Now, if you have the maybe some shipment, what you have the over dimension. Somebody is saying four meter. Okay, length. What you will do? You have to check any, any airline can carry this. Maybe the passenger flight or the cargo flight, right? The specification. 
Yes, Normally, maximum, I think, 3 point something is there in the passenger and wide body aircraft. Okay. The specification. Other things will come for the fight or flight. Okay. Yes, sir. Flight, I, I will show you. Okay. How to get that detail. Okay. Yes, sir. For the fight or flight. So you go. To yes, sir. Now, now we have to understand you know, what are the charges related for the uh, air flight. Then we will stop today. It's okay. Yes. Yes, sir. Fine, sir. Okay. So the next thing is about the what are the charges? You know that when you are uh, discussing about the ocean 